Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Dishonored. Welcome back, technically. I played this game like, uh, two and a half years ago. It was in like November, I think. I technically played it for October because it was like a scary game. Corvo, who I am is not important. We're going to leave you a weapon. We're going to get you out of here. Um, the reason I'm playing this is because this game has two endings. Ooh, already. Uh, it has a high chaos and low chaos. Never a no chaos. Uh, and I want to get the high chaos ending. Yeah, love to see it. Um, I also just like, I love the idea of not sneaking. Because I ended up sneaking all of the time in um, the center and default. And like, I do love games wherein it is just fully an option to sneak. And like, obviously, I definitely should be sneaking because I don't have that like sort of capability. But I, I want to play this like as aggressive as I can. Little twist top there. The rats are so cute. This game has such a good art style. Like, it makes it so easy for your game to age well when you have a good art style. And like, even just like this font and like some of the other cool like stylistic choices, like these models are not the best. Like, they're not your 4K Ultra HD Unreal Engine 6, you know, PS11 models. Obviously, but their ability to, like... The, the slight amount of stylization, just a little bit, makes them very clear in, like, who they are, what they're supposed to be. You know, you get a little more character that way. You know, we're at a point where, like, the pursuit of, like, really high graphics is now not meaningless, but, like, there's so many games with really good graphics, and, like, it's to the point where, like, every game has really good graphics. Um, don't worry, I know how to play. And like, sometimes they have good graphics in a way that like, just totally looks completely ugly. Like Atomic Heart came out, that's another game where you have where you have a gun and then something on your hand. In this, I guess I have a sword and a gun. And later I'll have like, you know, something else and a sword. Instead of ordinarily having, you know, a gun and magic or a gun and like technomancy or whatever. Yeah, see this guy? He's wearing completely Curse those rich milk bloods boring bog standard clothes and he's just got a shaved head. There's nothing interesting about him as a person, you know? Let me out. I've got three days before they cut my head off. This guy is dressed a little more dapper and that's kind of interesting, but like just the no just the simple stylization the of of the characters makes it so much more of like a design. I, I am begging, imploring designers to please have a more, you know, have a more colorful 
Not even necessarily colorful. You can have something that's like very dour and gray and dark. But just play with reality a little more, you know? You don't need to have a, a, a borderland cell, uh, uh, cell shading or something. Yeah, like look look at look at this. Just a little bit of it, you know? I love I, another thing. This is just a very minor thing, but I love that the um right now you, we can only see the health bar and the air bar only appears when you're underwater and, you know, requiring it. And later it'll appear with a mana bar as well. But I really love that, like, instead of just a stock block gray, green, you know, red, orange bar or whatever. Um, they are these cool stylized little cuts or slashes. That's something I feel like a lot more uh, uh, things could stand to do. If you're reading this or plan worked, you're out. We'll get you in a sec. Yeah, raddies. The plague rats are like almost too cute in this game. Like I know that they are like, they are still just like friendly, cute little animals or whatever. Um, you know, a rat isn't inherently evil, but, like, magic is real. Rats are at least a little evil. Go get that guy. Go get that guy. Yeah. Yeah, swimming in sewer water. I was actually considering, um, for when you're watching this, I believe Resident Evil 4 comes out, like, tomorrow. Uh, which is to say the remake of Resident Evil 4. Ooh, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, I don't think I can get this guy. I was gonna go feed him to the rats. Get an all-rat playthrough. Um, I am aware that I could have, like, just picked a, uh... I love the, uh, uh, the, like, level of incompetence of, like... Yeah, those plague rats. They'll get- they'll get us. Let's throw them the bodies. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo is uh. for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily having a really good like several brave officers of the state announcement noise. How do I put this? The 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 sound that the um the thing makes when you turn it on the speakers that they they have. They sound so good. And like, I'm thinking about like, um, whoops, totally saw that, didn't think about it. I'm thinking about like, uh, uh, the noise that the... Hey, here's your stuff, Corvo, thanks. I'm thinking about like the noise that you get in like, uh, Papers, Please. Yeah. Like the noise you get in Papers, Please, that like... It's not that demonic, obviously, and I there's no way I could replicate it with just my human mouth because like I'm not a computer. Um, yeah.
What do you think it is? There it is. It's always 0451. I, when I play Bioshock, I know for a fact that it's 0451 in that game as well. I should go back and like, I should just clip it and be like, the first code in, in Dishonored, the first code in Human Revolution, the first code in, uh, uh, he won't get past me. in Bioshock. It's kind of hoping I get that drop kill. Though maybe it's a thing where like... Hey, what was hey, this guy's actually wearing a mask. There we go. Yeah, I know the for a fact that some of these ended in like um Some of our playthroughs ended in like high chaos. Or not some of the playthroughs, but like some of the um levels ended in high chaos, but ultimately we ended up getting the low chaos ending. And getting that island when it's like not all stormy and not snowy or um Oh, these are so cool. Just everything in this game. People, I saw somebody complaining on, on I think Twitter. First and foremost, Twitter opinion detected. Um, we've spoken to Sammy in the old playthrough. So I may s skip some of his things. Um... Current chaos, yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was this opinion on Twitter, and like, first of all, it's a Twitter opinion, so like, never a good thing or guarantee for anyone forever. But they talked about how like, certain, they, they felt like certain genres or settings were kind of getting milked or worn down or whatever and like one of them was like steampunk with light magic like uh a lot of the final fantasies have that um this has it a little bit of bioshock to an extent uh uh like full metal alchemist and like man if that's being milked pour me a glass dude i'm thirsty i love that like, people, people complain about how, like, oh, yeah, every game's trying to be, you know... Oh, I don't know. Like, every game is trying to be, um... Sorry, I'm trying to think of an example, and I'm blanking. Well, people were talking about how, like, Atomic Heart is wanting to be Bioshock so bad, and it definitely is. And it definitely could be a lot better. I feel like Atomic Heart could stand to be way, way better than it is. But the thing is, is that at the very least, it is attempting something. It's got cool biopunk, you know, biotech. Um, so it's starting at last, he found our man. I hung up on the door there somehow. Later, Lord I'm going to skip this cutscene. Yes. is much an artist. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All I've always thought Piero's head looks so small for his body. Oh yeah, I can skip this as well. Can you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I go to some place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Get the next one ready for you, boy. 
Yeah, I was thinking about playing Assassin's Creed as well. Perfect. Now plug it in. I was also considering, uh, I mentioned this, I was considering playing The Evil Within in order to uh, uh, hype up Assa uh, not Assassin's Creed. Um, upgrades, here we go. Yeah, I was considering playing Evil Within um, to hype up Resident Evil 4 because there is nothing in the Evil Within that is not either stolen from Resident Evil 4 directly or from one of the other Resident Evils, like, you know, Crimson Heads. Um, or is not from something else like... Um, oh, I don't know, like a... Uh, somewhere else. Oh, Bastion. That's another one that I... I played Bastion for the channel. It was great. You should go watch it. Let's knock my pillow off the bed. I wonder why we don't see more of stuff like this in games. You know, fun, cool, semi-period accurate. Um, like semi-period accurate uh, uh, advertisements and things. I love that. Great weather outside. Hello, Corva. For those who are not caught up on the story. Whoops! It says watch your step. Should have paid attention. Oh, right. I don't have any potions. I can't just machine gun it. Whoops. Kind of a screw up. I like... Uh, yeah, so for those of us who are not caught up on the story, uh, we've been framed as killing the Empress... Uh, the loyalists want to put things back to normal. These jokers have captured the Empress's daughter. And then this is one of those things, because like, obviously this is a dream and so it can't be happening, but we have read this definitely real letter. Like, it is almost definitely a letter. And this is a scene that we have no way of knowing is happening, because we have not been told that these twins are actually the ones holding this girl. And they are. Um, I love the whales in this game. We'll talk about them more later. Oh, yeah. Again, this is a scene that, like, could be happening, and we might just be able to guess or assume that it is, but, like, we wouldn't know. Same deal with this. Man. That is such a clean... Like, the, 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 the big ball that they show you of, of energy... Of like, this is what it looks like when you're teleporting. And then to put the little up arrows to indicate you will uh, uh, climb, you can make that. That's so clean. There's so many good things about this game that like, a lot of it definitely just comes from money, you know? Days that follow. Just straight money. This place is the end of the place and the beginning. Oh yeah, whoops, I was totally talking about something. Yeah, I was planning on playing The Evil Within, um, because The Evil Within is heavily based off of RE4. Um, but the thing is, is that The Evil Within is like 60 gig, and like, I don't have it on a, a PS4, I have it on PC. Um, and I was just reminded of like, all of the myriad, myriad problems that uh, the PC version had. I assume that most of them, I hope that most of them are fixed by now. But really, I have no guarantee for that. And if I play something, I would like to be able to get to with minimum stuff uh, because I'm currently unmedicated for ADHD. Although that actually might change soon. Got four of them. Cool. Um, but yeah, I was... We'll just stage the blank here. Yeah, I was planning on playing Evil Within, but like I was like, I want to play Dishonored anyway. 
I don't really care that that much about the Evil Within. So we'll just play Dishonored, skip around. Why not? Yeah. Um, I want to be able to kill guys. I want swarm and time. That's basically all I need. So we'll bank it for now. How you use what I have given you for yep. But yeah, um, I commented on this in an unaired cut of this, an unaired take. Um, but the oh, these are DLC items. Yeah, right. Right, right, right. So whales in the real world do not have. Uh, Oh yeah, I don't have my optics, do I? Whales in the real world don't have scales like that. But maybe it's a thing where they do in video games. Okay. Sword clashing, good. Oh, there's no reason I shouldn't just put all of them on, really. Oh, unless these are good, too. Uh, Raven. Swim speed, quick dodge, good lungs, delicate touch. Alright, well, I like all the ones I have. God. If there were, if companies were investing a little less in just pushing graphics even harder, and then instead... Can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Nice. Oh. Um, yeah, like, instead of, of... You know, pushing graphics so much harder, pushing them as hard as they possibly can. And they instead invested a little bit of money in the art style. I would be very, I would be much more pleased with the state of current gen, fancy, modern ass development. Uh, yeah, to catch you up on the story. Well, let's get down. Another. We have a... Pardon me. Did I get more money? I totally do have more money. One moment. What can I do for you? Upgrade me, boyo. Well, first, let's see here. I'm going to need a kill, guys. And I want some runes. Um, uh, hmm. Let's get mask optics just because it's useful. I've been skipping a lot of the things of like... Oh, see further and do better because, like, I don't care. Because the reason that those things are useful is because they make it so you don't have to kill people. The thing is, is that I absolutely want to kill people. <laughs> I feel like Windblast should be medium. Like, this is very low. This is very low. These are both very high. This is high and this is high. Shouldn't there be something in between high and low? Like, is there not a medium? Or shouldn't there be, like, a low in and of itself? Ready to go? Just give the signal. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. You can see an image of Corvo without the mask if you select the easy difficulty, or if you hover over it in the menu. Um, and I've got to say, God, Corvo's attractive. That's a sexy man. Sorry, getting off topic. Um, anyway, this is an empire. We have an empress. Somebody killed the emperor. Uh, somebody killed the empress. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard. Somebody who can teleport and stab guys much like us, actually. Um, the man in question is Dowd. He's a... 
he's an assassin, I guess. Yeah. Um, you may have seen that uh, uh, stringy ass pale white boy in that earlier cutscene. That's the outsider. He's a dark god of some kind. He just randomly tries to like empower people because he'll think he think it'll be interesting. Um, there's a DLC about him in the second game that I haven't played. Uh, mostly because I've not played the second game. Let me just make sure. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't know how long that has been. Had that's been inactive. Hey everyone. I'll leave it. Just in case. This, yes. I think a necromancy spell would be cool in this game. Was he starting to like... Yep. <laughs> he was panicking. That's funny. I love that. So, there's a mechanic that I don't remember. And maybe I'll look it up in between. Um... Wait, surely not, right? Oh man, all my old saves are here. Yeah. My god. <laughs> They're dissolved due to irreconcilable hostilities. That's funny. That's a funny way to write that. I love that. <laughs> 